Last night's Canucks-Jets game had it all. A blowout score, jersey on the ice, and these very non-distracting digital boards. Oh, wait. No, you're seeing this right. The board's completely blacked out for a decent amount of time. Now, you may have seen some of the stuff going around of Gary Bettman, commissioner of the NHL's response to the fan backlash, stating that the polls suggest digital ads are a non-issue, that they actually enhance the viewing experience. Essentially, we're all just trying to make something of nothing. Right. I mean, dude, where are they sourcing these polls? Now, I will say this time around was different than what we've been seeing, but it was kind of interesting to see, honestly. I assume most of you know by now how these work, but essentially they have some kind of algorithm that keys out players in real time, which is pretty impressive stuff, but it seems half-baked. What was actually cool to see was with the all-black boards, you can see more clearly how the software works. There's a faint outline of the players, but considering how fast the game moves, this is pretty neat to see. And outside of the moving ads... I will say they seem to actually be improving in my opinion. But again, the poll suggests these aren't distracting, so what am I doing? I better move on. So let's get into the game itself. Less than three minutes into the first, the Jets get on the power play, and Kyle Connor opens the scoring early. But let's take a closer look. The Canucks make a change here, and Horvat goes off, and Mikhaev comes on. But in the process, they completely lose their man, Kyle Connor, who is no slouch. You leave him completely uncontested like this, and he's not going to miss. Now, that was actually all the scoring we had in the first, and while the Jets outshot the Canucks 11 to 3 the Canucks out hit the Jets 16 to 1 just a wild stat I thought I'd throw in but anyway on to the second off an offensive zone faceoff, Kevin Capobianco scores his first of the year on a shot that somehow made its way to the net. I mean, look at all the traffic in front. Obviously, Martin has no chance here, but the boys on the bench love it, and really it seems that the Jets have a great culture in Winnipeg at the moment. Now, it was actually just after that goal that the boards blacked out, and the all blacked out boards, I kind of dig them. Now, the puck would obviously get lost on a totally black board, so it's not even realistic, but yeah, just kind of cool to see what it would look like anyway. With just under eight to go, the Jets would continue to dodge dominate, working the puck really nice here. Parfetti to Dylan, Dylan to Pionk, and he blasts one home from the point, scoring another one that gets to the net untouched. He scores this one on the short side. Heading over to the third, DeMello gets a beautiful pass off the boards here to Connor that led to a two-on-one, and just like that, it was four to nothing. This is really just a great sequence by the Jets here. The bank pass by DeMello is right where it needs to be for Connor. Connor, recognizing the defender coming up to challenge, spins it back to Dubois and opens up all this space for the two-on-one. Gagne finishes is it high glove for his fifth and overall just good stuff by the Jets here. So nearing the midway point of the third and really just throughout the game, the Canucks look defeated and they make a very slow clearing here and attempt to change on it. But I mean, what do you expect is going to happen here? The Jets pounce quick, getting the puck right back into the Canucks zone and with all the space in the world, Fialbi snipes it top shelf and ah, just not very good here. Horvat would at least wreck the shutout for Hellebuck, getting on the board on the power play, giving fans at least something to cheer for and it was a nice play. Winning the face off, he got in front of the net and is able to get his stick on a nice tip here. Now, it wasn't long after this that you see this guy walk right up to the glass here. He tosses a sweater on the ice in the middle of play, which I'm not sure is a smart move, but yeah, he seems proud of himself, so that's nice, but really, it's just tough going for the Canucks at the moment, and you gotta feel for their fans. So that's how the game would end. It was a 5-1 blowout, and uh, to end the video, if you're not a Jets fan, you may not know this, but Hellebuck has a ritual where every time the camera gets the pre-game locker room shots, he just stares the camera down. So, I'm gonna leave you with that one.